Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about third gen Ryzen, and we're gonna be going over every single one of these brand new chips and uh, how many cores they have, uh, what their TDP is, price, all that stuff, and uh, just talking about some thoughts on this. So this is gonna be part of a, a small little series I'm gonna be doing on my channel because you know, friggin' Computex just happened and AMD just blew Intel out of the water and there's so much exciting stuff to talk about because this is absolutely insane. So this video, like I said, is gonna be talking about like the specific individual products that are gonna be released and about their specifications and stuff. I'm also gonna have another video talking about AMD's like Ryzen 3 as a whole and talking about every new thing that AMD has announced and what this is all going to mean. And then I'm also gonna have another video talking about what Intel is actually possibly going to do to counter AMD and uh, hopefully even try and like retain any market share that they might have. So first off, let's start out uh, with the big news about this is that there is a brand new like tier of Ryzen chips. So it is called Ryzen 9, you know, kind of copying Intel here because Intel has the i3, i5, i7, i9 chips. And so Ryzen now has Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, and now Ryzen 9. So there is going to be a new Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, and Ryzen 9 chips, which I still expect that they will probably still release, you know, Ryzen 3 chips for this third gen Ryzen. But uh, the bottom end, like the bottom tier that they revealed for this new lineup is the Ryzen 5 3600. This is a six core, 12 thread CPU at 65 watts like that is absolutely insane how low that is this is like a mobile ish like processor but 65 watts it has a base frequency of 3.6 gigahertz and it can boost up to 4.2 and it has a total of 35 megabytes of cache and it has 40 pcie 4.0 lanes so this is a brand new thing that amd has introduced with uh, third gen ryzen is pcie 4.0 and one thing I do want to point out with like a lot of these chips, you might notice that the uh, the actual individual like PCIe lanes aren't increasing. All of these chips all have 40 PCI lanes, but the important thing to note is that every single one of these lanes has double the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0. So PCIe 4.0 literally has double the bandwidth. So that means new graphics cards or storage or whatever else can now use double the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0. So that is absolutely insane. And uh, it is only gonna cost you $199. And uh, the exciting thing is that the release date for every single one of these chips is gonna be July 7th. So just barely over a month away before your, everybody's gonna be able to get their hands on all these new chips. And this is absolutely insane. So $200 for a six core 12 thread CPU at 65 watts, like that is insane. And especially at 3.6 gigahertz base clock and 4.2 boost on a 65 watt TDP chip that is absolutely insane but it only gets better from here so next up they have another Ryzen 5 this is the last Ryzen 5 one that they announced um, but I'm sure they'll probably still have more Ryzen 5s and Ryzen 3s and 7s and probably maybe even 9s coming soon there's even talk that they're gonna have a 16 core but this one is the Ryzen 5 3600X it is a 6 core 12 thread CPU this one is at 95 watts, so an extra 30 watts TDP over the uh, the 3600. And uh, this one has a base frequency of 3.8 gigahertz and will boost up to 4.4. It has the same 35 megabytes of cache, same 40 PCIe 4.0 lanes, and this one will come in at $249, once again, releasing on July 7th, 2019. So with this one, the 3600X versus the 3600, it's basically like a desktop CPU versus probably like a laptop one uh, because it is 95 watts as opposed to 65 watts. And of course, when you're getting from that is you're getting an extra 200 megahertz on the base frequency and then another 200 megahertz on the boost frequency. But still really, really good. And uh, I mean, these prices are absolutely incredible. So I'll get into that in a second. But next up, let's talk about Ryzen 7. Ryzen 7 has a 3700X CPU. This is an eight core 16 thread CPU at 65 watts. This is another like laptop lineup one. It has a base frequency of 3.6 gigahertz and a boost of 4.4. It has 36 total megabytes of cache, has 40 PCIe 4.0 lanes, and this will come in at $329. So that is absolutely insane. But now let's go on to the uh, Ryzen 7 3800X. This is another eight core 16 thread CPU at 105 watts TDP, has a base frequency of 3.9 gigahertz and a boost of 4.5. It has 36 megabytes of cache, 
40 PCIe 4.0 lanes and will cost you $399. So this new Ryzen 3800X is basically the equivalent of Intel's 9900K. Their new i9 is the equivalent of Ryzen 7. So that is absolutely unreal. And uh, I mean, it has the same eight core 16 threads that uh, I mean, if you want those like like the 16 threads on Intel, you have to go up to the 9900K and you got to go up to i9. You got to get a new motherboard because on the 9700K, it's just eight core, eight threads that, you know, Intel has stripped away hyper threading from their chips. But anyways, this is about AMD. So uh, it's, you know, 105 watts. So, you know, just about the same, you know, regular like desktop uh, TDP of any like, you know, consumer high end uh, desktop, you know, 105 watts TDP but a, a base frequency of 3.9 gigahertz and all the way up to 4.5 on all eight cores. Now this is incredible. So this isn't, you know, uh, like taking account any overclocking and there's been a lot of rumors and a lot of talk about AMD's third gen Ryzen actually been able to overclock up to five gigahertz. So if, you know, if AMD's like Ryzen 7 3800X can overclock all eight cores, 16 threads, all the way up to five gigahertz on every core, then it's, out, it's basically gonna match a 9900K but the big killer here is that it is only for $400, so $399 for that price. So for $400, you're basically gonna be getting a 9900K, which retails right now for uh, between basically like $480 to $500. So you're saving yourself between $80 and $100 by going with AMD on this chip. You're gonna be getting way more out of it. You're gonna be getting PCIe 4.0, you're gonna be getting 36 megabytes of total cash, and uh, potentially the the ability to overclock up to like five gigahertz, so it's basically a 9900K for $400, so like $100 less than uh, than Intel's 9900K. Like that's absolutely insane. But now let's talk about the big dog in the fight, and uh, the top one that AMD has revealed so far. There's been a lot of talks still that AMD is going to be releasing like a 16 core and a whole bunch of other like CPUs in this lineup. This is just like the base lineup. These are the ones they're going to all be releasing on July 7th. But uh, this one is the first Ryzen 9, the Ryzen 9 3900X. This is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU at 105 watts TDP, has a base frequency of 3.8 gigahertz and a boost of 4.6. And this one has 70 megabytes of total cache. Like, holy fetch, that is actually unreal. 70 megabytes of cache for this CPU, has 40 PCIe 4.0 lanes, and uh, will retail for $499. So this one is really, really like the big dog in the fight. And this is one is going to be like killer to Intel because uh, a 12 core, 24 thread CPU for only $500 with 70 megabytes of cache like that, like the cache alone blows Intel's like CPU out of the water. But uh, for an Intel CPU with 12 cores and 24 threads, it's gonna cost you well over a thousand dollars. It's probably gonna cost you upwards of about twelve hundred dollars, and that is absolutely insane for a twelve core, twenty four thread CPU. And this one is base frequency of three point eight, boosting up to four point six. Potentially, I mean, you might be able to still overclock it up to five gigahertz. For this one, I you know, I'm not thinking you're gonna be able to get all twelve cores up to five gigahertz, but I think even like all twelve cores at four point eight would be absolutely incredible, and it's gonna deal a serious blow to Intel here. But the price is the biggest thing for this because for $500, like, think about this, $500, right? That's basically the price of Intel's, like, top dog i9-9900K, you know, their big, like, beefy CPU, the one that's, like, the best for gaming, and that's an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. This one has 50% more cores, it has 12 cores, 24 threads, for the exact same price. And, uh, I mean, you know, you could probably overclock this thing up, you know, pretty close to 5 gigahertz and basically match the performance of the 9900K in terms of clock speed, but you have an extra four cores and an extra eight threads on top of that with 70 megabytes of cache. So this cache setup is absolutely insane. I'm gonna talk about this in a separate video, but that much cache is absolutely ridiculous and is gonna enable this chip to basically be super quick because cache is essentially, if you don't know what cache is, it's basically like 10 times faster than RAM. So cache, is uh is you know like super super like common data that your computer needs so it'll store it in cache and uh it's like like i said like 10 times faster than ram and ram is like 
so much faster than even like an NVMe SSD. So three to have 70 megabytes of total cache, that is absolutely insane. And uh, I mean, I would have liked them to increase the uh, the PCIe lanes on some of these, you know, besides having just 40. But uh, I feel like, you know, even just having 40 PCIe lanes is okay because, you know, now it's PCIe 4.0, so it has double the bandwidth. So, I mean, it doesn't technically work out this way that, you know, that, you know, it's almost as if we had 80 PCIe lanes on this CPU, on any of these CPUs, because it's double the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0. But there is still also talk that uh, with this third gen Ryzen lineup, and apparently it's a little bit misleading because uh, these CPUs will provide 16 lanes directly to the PCIe slots. And there's gonna be four uh, lanes to the M.2 slot or you know whatever. So 40 PCIe lanes is a little bit misleading, but once again, like I said, it's absolutely insane because I mean, Intel doesn't even have PCIe 4.0 right now. And uh, AMD is actually leapfrogging Intel and introducing a lot of new features that uh, Intel doesn't actually have on any of their chips. And this is gonna deal a serious blow to, uh, to Intel. And uh, yeah, so that is like AMD's brand new third gen Ryzen lineup. That is absolutely insane. And uh, I'm sure, like I said, AMD is going to be bringing out a whole bunch more of chips, you know, some new Ryzen 3s and probably even some more Ryzen 5s and even a couple more like maybe Ryzen 7s in here to uh, kind of fill the gaps in here and to really deal like an extremely serious blow to Intel because previously with uh, Ryzen and with like Threadripper and stuff, you know, Intel really kind of got shook up with it and that's why they introduced their, uh, their i9 lineup for uh, CPUs, but uh, I mean it didn't really touch their like mainstream CPUs. I mean, yeah, it kind of did. Some people would rather buy like a 2700X or something like that rather than like an 8700K or a, you know, a 7700K or something like that. But for the most part, you know, Ryzen and AMD really dealt a huge blow to the HEDT and like Xeon lineup. And now AMD is doing that same thing again, but also to the mainstream and consumer lineup. Like their bottom CPUs here are still six core, 12 threads. So that's basically like an 8,700K from between 200 and $250. <laughs> this is absolutely unreal. But the last thing for this video is that AMD actually did do some benchmarks for the CPUs versus some Intel ones. And uh, I really can't stress this enough. Take this with a grain of salt because AMD and Intel have been both, you know, guilty of having like cherry picked benchmarks and stuff that, you know, obviously really wants to support their claim that their chip is better. And the, you know, they're, they're really trying to market and to push their chip is like the best one. And so they might be doing it in some little bit misleading ways. So basically wait for official benchmarks to come out, wait for benchmarks to come out from uh, reputable sources that you know in the community, people that aren't directly tied and working for either AMD or Intel. But nonetheless, this is what AMD had to say about their third gen Ryzen. They say that the Ryzen 7 3700X versus the i7 9700K with real time rendering, the Ryzen 7 3700X offered 1% more single threaded performance and 30% more in multi-threaded performance. So basically what they're getting at there is that the Ryzen 3700X is basically like an i7 9700K with single threaded performance, but it really knocks it out of the park with, with multi-threaded performance because I mean this new 3700X has eight cores, 16 threads. So the uh, 9700K doesn't have those 16 threads. So that's you know part of the reason why it, it can get 30% more in multi-threaded performance. Plus there's a lot of improvements with you know this new Zen process and AMD has really stepped that up. Once again, like I said, I'm gonna cover this all in a separate video, talking about AMD's new improvements with this new, you know, huge, huge generation. And AMD is doing incredible things with this. So next up, their next claim is that Ryzen 7 3800X versus the i9 9900K with PUBG, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds gameplay. They say that the Ryzen 7 3800X matched the performance of the i9 9900K. So once again, like I said, this CPU, the, the 3800X, it's basically AMD's answer to the 9900K. You know, it's an eight core, 16 thread CPU, 105 watts, and uh, like a, you know, 3.9 gigahertz base clock, 4.5 boost with 36 megabytes of cache, but you know, $100 cheaper, that's gonna be the big thing. So even though with this lineup, you might not be passing Intel up a lot in terms of like raw performance, the big selling point and the big compelling thing about this is that they're gonna be absolutely crushing Intel in price to performance and in terms of value because if you're going to be able to get uh, essentially the same amount of performance as a, a 9900k for a hundred dollars less 
with more features, then it's, it's essentially a no-brainer. And uh, their last claim here is that the Ryzen 9 3900X versus Intel's i9-9920X with a blender render, the 3900X, the Ryzen 9 3900X, beat the i9-9920X by more than 16%. And once again, that's an incredible claim, especially because you know it beats it in terms of performance, but it also beats it absolutely to death with the price. It beats it so bad. You know, imagine spending $1,200 on just a CPU alone. This doesn't count, you know, motherboards and other things. You're spending like $1,200 on a CPU, and here comes along a $500 CPU, and it absolutely knocks yours out of the park and gives you like better performance on that $500 CPU. That is what Ryzen and AMD is doing here. So like I said, once again, take that with a grain of salt. That is AMD's, you know, their like offerings and their marketing right there. So these might be like cherry picked things. They might've like faked some of these things. It's not to say that Intel hasn't done the same in the past, but once again, just take that with a grain of salt because once again, wait for official benchmarks. But uh, basically if those are like anything to go off of, AMD's new Ryzen setup is absolutely, you know, gonna crush Intel's, you know, maybe not like a lot in terms of like raw performance, but an absolutely like metric butt ton in terms of value. So the nice thing about Ryzen in the first place was that AMD absolutely crushed Intel's like HEDT and even like Xeon lineup and really cannibalized that and Intel was scrambling for a while. And that's why in like two years, we have gone from having four core eight thread CPUs. Now we've gone up to eight core 16 thread as like the mainstream now is all thanks to AMD. And so now AMD isn't even just like only doing HEDT and Xeon, they're also taking down Intel's mainstream and consumer lineup as well. Like AMD is absolutely like destroying Intel in every single market. They're destroying them on the server lineup, you know, with like Xeon and their new Epic CPUs. They're destroying them in HEDT and in like professional workloads. They're destroying them in the consumer and the high end. And they're also destroying them in like the low end as well like amd is absolutely wiping the floor with intel right now and uh honestly i'm really looking at this new ryzen 3900x this new ryzen 9 and it looks really compelling because for 12 core 24 threads for only 500 dollars and 70 megabytes of cash who that thing is gonna be baller for not just gaming but also 3d rendering and streaming and everything on that chip all for 500 dollars. like that is basically like a wet dream right there so there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this video. That is AMD's new Ryzen 3 lineup. Like, I cannot stress how amazing this is. And Intel, man, they just have to get their game together. And judging from their roadmaps, man, Intel is not going to be able to really do anything against AMD until at least, you know, 2021, maybe even 2022. And that's when they're really going to even be able to start competing again. And <laughs> Intel is seriously screwed. If you want to buy some AMD stock, now's the time. And even maybe now's the time to buy some Intel stock because Intel stock is going to be whoo, all the way down because AMD is just wiping the floor with Intel. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on all this stuff in the comments down below. Even if you're an Intel fan, this is a great thing because this means huge new innovations in the CPU game. And uh, I mean, you got to be honest. It's nice to finally have some changes in the CPU lineup in the computer industry because, uh, like I said, only just a couple years ago we were stuck for several, several years only getting 4-core, 8-thread CPUs now to 8-core, 12-thread CPUs being the mainstream and it's only going to get crazier from here. So thank you AMD for like absolutely destroying Intel with this and creating some amazing products at amazing prices. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.